Hello, welcome back to Book Nerd TV. Today I'm doing a good old fashioned library haul. I went to my local library, I think it's two times within the last two weeks, and picked up some very interesting, hopefully highly entertaining reads. There are five books that I picked up between the two trips that I took to the library. The first of the five books that I picked up during my two visits to the library is McGray and the Saturday Caller. This is a novella written by Georges Simonon, and I, reading this book brought on a bit of nostalgia for me because Simonon's books are some of the first detective mystery fiction that I can recall running across. I'm sure there were others, but besides uh, Ellis Peters, I definitely remember, and of course, Agatha Christie, I remember the Simonon books for sure. I know that I read at least maybe four or five of them. Couldn't tell you what the titles are now at all because I mean it's been over it's been over many many years since I read the books. Which means for me picking up McGray and the Saturday Caller is definitely uh, a trip down memory lane, a bit of nostalgia. Not that I've read this book that I can recall, but simply because it's a it's a McGray book and that I read them when I was in my probably maybe teens, early 20s. I read very early. So when I was in my teen years, I definitely picked up basically everything that I could pick up from the library. And Simon Owens books were some of the books that I selected to read. And I think they're probably all kind of these sort of slim volumes. So of course, they were a fairly easy read for me. And I can remember, distinctly remember enjoying them. As it happens, since this is only 119 pages, I've read this book already. I enjoyed it greatly. It was very entertaining. I gave it three stars on the Goodreads scale from one to five because it was definitely very entertaining, very short, but really well written. Simon Nall is very economical with his words. He wastes none of them. He sets the scene brilliantly. And I just really enjoy almost traveling back in time to 1940s, 50s Paris and the telling of, of, of this particular story. So if you are interested, and I wouldn't even say that this is a cozy mystery per se. I wouldn't say that. I would say it's detective fiction and more sort of thoughtful, cerebral detective fiction, if you will. The McGray detective stories aren't quite like Agatha Christie and also not quite sort of hard-boiled detective fiction. It's, it's just somewhere in between. It's somewhere in the spectrum of Agatha Christie to hard-boiled detective. McGray sort of is in between there. And, and I think you will enjoy it. It will certainly give you a really good idea of what 1940s, 1950s Paris may have looked like um, um, during that time. The next two books are both by the same author, Ellis Peters. Book number two of the books that I picked up, Ellis Peters and The Holy Thief, as well as The Heretic's Apprentice. I've actually started reading The Heretic's Apprentice. It's not quite as easy to read as the Simon Owen book. It's a little harder for me to get into at this moment, but I, I hold out hope that I'll be able to sort of keep reading and, and, and jump into, get into the story. Again, Ellis Peters is someone that I can recall reading some of those sort of brother cat file mysteries when I was younger. Couldn't tell you what title that it was to save my life, but I do know that I've read Ellis Peters before. So here's hoping that I will that the book will grow on me and I'll, I'll get back into it and enjoy and enjoy them. But books number four and five are the two books that I just picked up yesterday and they are in West Mills by Deshaun Charles Winslow. I started reading this book yesterday. I am actually on page, oh wow, I'm actually on page 101 of In West Mills. Mm. At first I didn't think I was going to like this book because I did not like the main protagonist. But 101 pages later, and I'm still reading the book. So that probably tells you something. 100 pages in, and the book is only, the book is only, 
oh, what is this? 200, 247 pages possibly. So from what I, from what was a definitely rocky start, I have really jumped in and, and, and am really enjoying this book. In West Mills by Deshaun Charles Winslow. The last book of my library haul is Heaven My Home by Attica Locke. And it is one of her Highway 59 novels. Apparently, this is book number two in the Highway 59 series, which means I'm jumping in on book two <laughs> rather than starting with book one, because why not? But I saw this in the library and I can remember one of the ladies that I follow on booktube mentioned or talked about this book by Attica Locke, Heaven My Home, and how they were enjoying the book so much because the book centers on a black Texas Ranger named Darren. Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting Darren's last name. Black Texas Ranger named Darren Matthews, who is the son of the first or one of the first black Texas Rangers. It dives into not only his his personal relationships, work relationships, but also having to solve or investigate, that may be a better word, having to investigate crimes. This book does not shy away from the racial aspects of, here I am talking with my hand. This book does not shy away from the racial aspects of Matthew's being second generation black Texas Ranger doesn't shy away from the history of racism, institutional and otherwise in Texas. It's it's just there on it's just there on the page. It's just there on the page. But I don't think that that's something that any reader should shy away from. I also started reading this book yesterday and I got to page 30. Of course it was late at night when I started reading this and I believe I just started falling asleep, so for me, this book is not as quite an easy read as in West Mills because there is there is a lot to absorb for me while I'm reading this book, but it's going just fine. I'm enjoying the book, even though, and I can tell that other things have happened that occurred in the other story, which means consequently that I'm going to have to pick up uh, Bluebird, Bluebird, which is the first, I believe, novel in this series for the Highway 59 Mysteries or Detective Police Procedural, whatever you may want to call this series. So far, so good. Attica Locke is just, she's knocking it out of the park. I'm really, really enjoying this book. So if you are looking for something really good to read and you like the mystery genre, the detective fiction genre, I would recommend that you pick up Bluebird, Bluebird first because it's the first novel in the series and then pick up Heaven My Home. So a proper review for Heaven My Home and for In West Mills will be forthcoming in this year at some point. So here are the five books that I picked up during my first library haul of 2020. And I realized that all of them except for In West Mills are mystery detective fiction. I didn't do that on purpose. That just, it just kind of happened. So serendipity, right? Well, that's all I have for you today, book nerds. Remember to like this video, comment on this video. If you've read any of these books, I'd really like to have the interaction in the comments. And if you're enjoying all of the videos thus far, go ahead and feel free to subscribe. Remember, no matter what you have to do within your day, there's always time to read. Have a great day.